I can imagine that if if you're working together with someone who is developing a drug and and you come at that stage that you that you really start to to producing the the end product um, is it part of being a CMO that after a while when when the product is becoming so uh, commercialized that that you're losing your customer because they will build their own plant that happens but it but it's not the normal case that ha- that is actually um, in my in my career, I would say I've I've experienced that two or three times, but it's not the norm. Uh, usually, what happens is the CDMO that receives the 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 contract um, will invest quite a bit of of time and money once you go to commercial manufacturing to make the manufacturing process uh, better, leaner to increase the yield, to reduce waste, to to uh, maybe modify a raw material so that you have a better product and so on, which is something that um, that is lost if you if you switch. If you if you say, okay, now you've manufactured 50 batches for me, I've built up my own plant now, I'm taking it back. By that time you may already have a, a, a drift in the manufacturing process, which worked to the advantage of the uh, CDMO. And the disadvantage of the original uh, manufacturer. So most of the time, the, the the customers, especially if they're happy, they stay with the CDMO, and and they they let them manufacture the product through the patent protection, and then maybe even beyond that, depending on depending on how good the 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 process has become over the years. I know that some of our manufacturing processes have really really improved a lot. Also, because the customer gave us their trust and allowed us to continue to develop, and we uh, then also support them in, for example, changes to the filing that may become necessary if you make a change in the manufacturing process, if you make a change in the formula, um, or, or the the raw materials, critical process parameters, critical quality attributes. You have to f- change the filing, so we we can also support our customers with that. And a lot of CDMOs do that. Thank you for tuning in and listening or watching this uh, episode of Quality Talks Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please consider sharing it with your friends and subscribe. Stay compliant and see you in the next one.